Hi, and welcome to Stories of the Saints. On June 16th, we celebrate the feast day of St. Margaret. St. Margaret is a virgin and martyr in Antioch in Asia Minor, where her father was a pagan priest, and her mother died soon after Margaret's birth. And so by a young age, she was nursed by a pious woman who lived near Antioch. Having embraced Christianity and consecrated her virginity to God, she was disowned by her father and adopted by her nurse. One day while she was engaged in watching the flock, a lustful Roman named Alberius caught sight of her and was very attracted to her and sought to make her his concubine or wife. When threats of punishment in moving to his lustful will and her refusal to marry him, he had brought her forth public trial in Antioch. Threatened with death unless she renounced the Christian faith, the Holy Virgin refused to adore the gods of the emperor. An attempt was made to burn her, but flames left her unharmed. She was then bound hand and foot and thrown into a cauldron of boiling water. But at her prayer, her bones were broken and she stood up uninjured. Finally, the prefect ordered her to be beheaded. Saint Margaret is represented in art sometimes as a shepherdess or as a leader holding a chain dragon, again carrying a little cross or a girdle in her hand, or standing by a large vessel which recalls the cauldron into which she was plunged. Relics said to belong to the saints and venerated in many parts of Europe at Rome, Brussels, Bruges, Paris, and various places. Curiously enough, this virgin has been widely venerated for many centuries and a special patron of women who are pregnant. If you like this video about St. Margaret, please press the like button. And if you'd like to learn more about the saints, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to become a premium member and watch cinematic movies about the saints, you can go to thechristianchannel.com and support us by subscribing to our yearly streaming service on your smart TV. Thank you for watching and God bless.